Representative Harris to the floor on the bill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Members, I rise in opposition to this bill also. And I just want to use a, a couple of examples, or one in particular, that affects my industry. In this bill, you'll notice that we're taking $1.9 million from the Envi Environmental Trust Fund. Years ago, I got into this industry. I'm in the sea store business, and I sell gas for a living. And we had problems with underground storage tanks. Congress said we have to do something about it. So they passed a trust fund law that said for every tank, we're going to have a trust fund there in case there is a tank leakage. And I don't know if you, you because you're not in the business, know how much it costs to clean up an environmentally damaged property after an underground storage tank leaks. I can cite one example. In South Louisiana, a brand new store leaked gas, almost 9,000 gallons, into the water and into the ground. That didn't cost just $1.9 million to clean that up. That costed a fortune. Without this environmental trust fund money, somebody was going to go broke. That they, and they had been paying this fee in every year for more than 20 years at .008 cents a gallon. That's one penny a gallon when you drive your car that goes into this trust fund. Every year this, we raid this fund and we take money out of it. And every year that this has happened before I was a legislator, no one called me and said, Mr. Harris, this money that you're paying in, this one cent almost per gallon that you're paying in every year, we're going to take that money and we're not going to put it to its the use that we told you we were going to put it to, we're just going to put it into the general fund so that we can make ends meet. And then we'll worry about an environmental catastrophe with an underground storage tank later. No one told me. No one told our industry, unless you're here in Baton Rouge. No one came out to Heinston, Louisiana and visited me and said, your one cent a gallon is going to keep the lights on somewhere. Because... We've been irresponsible in our, our spending. You know, one other point on that. When you look at the statutes, according to the Louisiana RS 30, colon 2195B, our own law says any utilization of the tank trust fund for purposes other than underground storage tank activities as provided for under the tank trust fund statutes must be documented and reported to the House Committee on Natural Resources and Environment and to the Senate Committee on Environmental Quality. I ask you, those of you on the committee, has this been done this year? Was it done last year and the year before? Can we just arbitrarily ignore our own laws to make ends meet? I don't think so. You know, I've been through a lot of diversity, little tough times in my life, a whole bunch. And the one thing that's got me through, and I can cite several examples of tough times, but the one thing that has gotten me through is, is my core values. I can always retreat to my core values. And you know, last Friday, <clears throat> we had 51 members stood up with the core values. They voted their core values. They voted an amendment on the HB1 because they knew that using one-time money is not the correct way to be fiscally responsible in this state. I ask you, look at your core values when you vote today. Look how you voted Friday. A vote last Friday should be a vote no today. And I oppose this bill and I ask my, my cohorts in this, this room to oppose this bill and let's get back to sanity when we're doing our fiscal budgets. Thank you. Representative Harris.